Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Riddell and welcome to another Tutorial Bucket Tutorial. The Glamour Glow Skin Effect has been the most popular tutorial that I've ever put up on YouTube and it's long overdue for an update. With the newer versions of Photoshop there's a couple of little tricks that we can now apply to this to make it just that much nicer than it used to be. So, how do we go about it and how does it look? Well for those of you who are new to this, this is what it looks like. I'll just turn it on. That is the Glamour Skin Glow effect. It's a very soft, gauzy sort of effect. Very much like the penthouse images from the 1970s. But with Photoshop tools, you can make it look a lot nicer. So, let's go to it. First, we need a copy of the original image to be made glamorous and glowing. And this copy, we're going to now change its blending mode. The blending mode is the key to making this all work. We change the blending mode from normal, and I'm looking for a mode called overlay. Now, as you can see, my camera has not quite been able to show you where that is, so I'll just drag my camera up a little bit. And try one more time. There you are, my friend overlay. So we take the overlay mode, and drag the camera back down again. And you can see the effect. It's pretty intense. Very, very oversaturated, poppy orange skin tones. Now, this is not what you want. You need to soften this. So we go into our filter menu and we choose blur and Gaussian blur. We're going to blur this into a much softer version. Now, when you apply the blur, the amount of blur is going to depend on the image. Now, a general rule for doing this, and I'm stressing this is a general rule, it's not a hard and fast rule, is that the amount of blur to be applied should make the image soft, but the details are still recognisable. So you could actually increase the blur on this even a little bit more, but just enough so it's starting to disappear, but it's still clearly recognisable. Of course, experiment with the settings yourself. You may like a different level of blur to give you that glamour glow effect. But I'm just saying, general rule, getting soft, details still recognisable, that is generally on the money. Let's say OK. Now, that effect in itself, a lot of people think this is great, happy to walk away with it. Personally, I think this looks a bit overcooked. It looks like fake tan to me, but uh, if you like that, knock yourself out. But I want to get this so it looks acceptable and nice and realistic. So first thing to do is there's a lot of this effect has darkened everything around the skin areas. I need to get that detail back. Easiest way is to apply a layer mask and simply get rid of the areas that you do not want affected by the glamour glow effect. How you go about doing that? Your business. Simple way for me is I've already prepared a mask in my channels palette which is only the skin areas that I want affected not the lips not the shadows around the nose not the eyes not the eyebrows and not the hair etc so it's only going to affect the skin area for this image if you want to know how to create this sort of mask there is or shortly will be a tutorial on making skin selections keep your eye out for that one and if it's available I'll have a link on this video so that you can click straight over to it. Okay, so I'll select my mask, control click, go back to my RGB combined image, back to my layers palette, back to my Glamour Glow layer, which has now been blurred, and I'll apply a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask icon. And there we go. It now only affects the actual skin area. So, to make this now look nice, we need to dial back the amount of this glow and color saturation. Very quick, simple way, if it spins your wheels, is to simply go to the opacity for the layer itself, pull it down to zero, and then just gradually drag it up until you get the amount of glamour glow that you want to have. That may do the job for you if you wanted to go about it that way. That's one way of doing it. I'll put that back to 100. I prefer to add in an adjustment layer using a nice new function in the recent versions of Photoshop called Vibrance. Now again, I only want to affect the skin areas, so I'll control click on that layer mask that I've got there. So I've selected just the skin, and I'll click on New Adjustment Layer, and choose Vibrance. Vibrance is very, very neat. If you do not have Vibrance, use Hue and Saturation. It will do the job almost as well. 
Okay, Vibrance. So, we have the Vibrance palette, very, very simple. Again, if you've only got Hue and Saturation, this is the same slider as you find in Hue and Saturation. So you can dial it down to reduce the amount of colour saturation and it'll look a lot better. But I'll just put that back to what it was and I'll show you this Vibrance function. I think this is very, very neat. What Vibrance controls is the sheer intensity of the colour. It looks a little bit and functions a little bit like saturation, but it's not really. You do retain the colour, but it just knocks down the intensity of those colours while retaining the original hues. So I'll knock that down to about here. And if you like that effect, you're done. But you can also play with the saturation. You can knock it down and get that washed out, desaturated look. Or you can increase the saturation and keep it nice and warm, but at the same time within the realms of the believable. So fiddle around with vibrance and saturation until you get an effect that you're satisfied with. I'll say that will do for me. Uh, maybe there's so much there. A little bit here. Yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, so here is the before. And here is after our corrected Glamour Glow skin effect using Vibrance and Layer Masks.